When people think of Nashville, Tennessee, they usually think of country music, honky tonks, and hot chicken. But this land of cowboy boots is becoming much more than a music mecca. It's a booming real estate market. Cranes dot the skyline and construction peppers every neighborhood. Even the locals can't keep up with the changes. New tech and startup entrepreneurs are moving in, changing the energy of this city. It should no longer be viewed as a one-note music town. But what else makes this state capital so appealing? It could be the surrounding Great Smoky Mountains, Historical Music Row, or the pro sports. The reasons abound once you dive a little deeper and take a look around. Knowing where to look and how to anticipate changes can be daunting. But that's where I come in. In a city that's moving fast, sometimes a fresh perspective is just what you need. Finding your first home is one of the most exciting. This is insane. And personal decisions you'll make in your life. My favorite part, and I love what I see. With so many things to consider, it's easy to lose sight of what's really right for you. As I kept looking, I'm like, there's nowhere to go. My name is Andrew Tyree. I'm a realtor and a neighborhood explorer. I believe that home means something different to everyone. It's the personal touches, the backyard for hosting your neighbors, the local coffee shop around the corner, or the community park that make a home your home. That's what I want for Kingston, to be in a neighborhood where there are people that look like him, that reflect who we are. I'll be taking some first-time home buyers on a journey to find a place that feels like home to them. Wow. As they discover what they should really consider before signing on the dotted line. What really draws us here is that there are so many cultures in one small area. Yeah. You've become like my best friend. Cheers. We'll go beyond the typical house hunt. <laughs> this is Beyond the Block. So today we are in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm very excited to be here. We're here to meet Shay. We have a lot in common. She's a single parent. I was raised by a single parent. She wants to foster children. I spent time in the foster system. She's raising an African-American son. I'm African-American. So there are a lot of similarities in Shay's story and my story, and you wouldn't know it just by looking at us. My name is Shay Beery. I'm a single mom to an eight-year-old boy named Kingston, and I'm a legal assistant. I currently live downtown in Nashville. I really enjoy my location, but the reality is it's just a two bedroom apartment. And my ultimate goal of being a foster parent is why I'm motivated to want to buy a home and to find a community that works for our potentially growing family. She's looking for a place where she feels like people are going to look out for her son when he's outside of the home. Decisions that I make for our family are not just based upon what I want. I also have to consider racial issues. I have to consider whether he can ride his bike down the street and not be harassed either by neighbors or even our law enforcement. For me, finding the right community is the most important. One of the biggest goals is to be within a 20 minute drive of my son's school. And my budget is between 250 and 300,000. Home ownership is not easy. I want to provide her, you know, some assistance because it is a lot to handle by yourself. And sometimes you need somebody just to say, hey, you're doing a good job. I know this is hard, but keep going. I got you. Shay? Yes? You must be Kingston. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good. Good, it's so nice to meet you both. I'm so glad you're here. Maybe you can show me around? Absolutely, can we start in the kitchen? Yeah, let's do it. Kingston and I cook. Sometimes I help. Nice. But in addition to just cooking for our family, uh -huh. a part of my social routine yeah. pre-COVID was having people over, having a common meal. But there's a little hiccup with being in this particular apartment okay. that's not working. I didn't have a play area for the kids, so I sacrificed the dining room space. Definitely a designated dining room, living room, and a separate space for a play area. Nice big kitchen for entertaining. Yeah. That's what I got so far. Yes, okay. yes. I see a little outdoor space. Oh, we really love to go outside. Yeah. Unfortunately, this apartment building backs up to a multi-acre mulching business, and so having a little bit of grass would be fantastic. Yeah, all I wanted to do when I was Kingston's age is run full speed. And that's exactly what I do. Yeah, see, there we go. I, 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 know. I still have the mind of an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my master. Okay. Take it all in. 
what is this right here? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this? Being a foster parent, yeah. you have to be prepared at all times for whatever comes through your door. Mm -hmm. If a social worker were to call me late at night and mm -hmm. said, hey, I'm bringing you an infant, a baby, a toddler, oh. I've got to have my safety equipment on hand. Right. This is Kingston's room yep. okay. and foster care room. Got it. But if we had another bedroom, mm -hmm. it means that if a sibling group that's a boy and a girl mm -hmm. gets presented to me, I get to say yes. Well, I think this is great. Uh, I appreciate the tour. So Kingston, I'm a big fan of the artwork on your wall. No grown-ups allowed. Now, I'm not a grown-up, but your mom is. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's basically the person I'm <laughs> not <wise. laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I spent time in the foster care system coming up. I didn't know that. I did. I never got a permanent placement, but I was in a group home for four years wow. in St. Louis. So I know how important it is to have a loving, caring foster parent to have your back. I'm really excited to help you and your son find a home. I'm so happy you called. And now I want to show you some Realtor.com's tools that are going to help you narrow down your search. Let's narrow down the areas that you want to be in. First one was North Nashville. Okay, so North Nashville is right around here. So I'm just gonna draw a circle. All the other properties disappear, and just the ones that are left are in North Nashville. What's another one of the areas you were looking at? Hermitage Donaldson. That's east? Yes. Hermitage Donaldson, okay. Now, a little bit different this time, it needs to be more oval, because we have to get both areas in there. And you see all the properties populate there in that area. And what was the last area you were looking at? A little farther north, Goodlettsville. Do you want to take it for a spin one time and, and draw a little shape around Goodlettsville? Sure. Perfect. OK, it looks like the counties are split in Goodlettsville. Now, will that take Kingston out of your desired school district? Oh, it will. Don't want that. So let's eliminate Goodlettsville, and let's stick to North Nashville and Hermitage Donaldson. Sounds great. Perfect. I say we get our feet on the ground, and we explore some of these homes, these neighborhoods because that's the right way to see them. Absolutely, I'm excited. You're excited? Me too. Which famous artist recorded over 200 songs in historic RCA Studio B right here in Nashville? Chuck Berry, Blake Shelton, Patsy Cline, or Elvis Presley? We're buying a home for the first time. It's so stressful to figure out what we can actually afford. I just, oh, oh wow. You two might want to check out Realtor.com's monthly cost calculator. It factors in key fees for you. Less surprises, less stress. So no more shelf pillow. Nah. Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and see what you can afford. We needed a new home in a very dry climate. And with Realtor.com's draw and map feature, we found this one and we love it. Even made sure it's not in a flood zone. Hey, neighbors, we're having a pool party. Join us. Again, Larry, we'll die if we go in the pool. We're having a backstroke contest. Got to pass. You can stay in the shallow end. No, we can't. We're going to play Marco Polo. Don't know who that is. Realtor.com to each their home. With Realtor.com map draw, you can choose exactly where you want to search. So we don't have to search by zip code. Nope, draw the line wherever you want. You hear that, zip codes? You can't tell me what to do anymore! Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and search where you want. Which famous artist recorded over 200 songs in historic RCA Studio B right here in Nashville? The answer is Elvis Presley. As a Nashville local, Shay has been struggling to find a town that provides her the acceptance she's seeking as a single mom and the safety she needs for Kingston. So we're starting our week with a visit to one of Nashville's oldest towns with the newest influx of business, activities, and restaurants. So we are in Germantown. This is one of the hottest neighborhoods in North Nashville. What do you know about this area? I mean, I've been here before, okay. but I don't really know what Germantown is now. Yeah. But I like that even as we've been walking, it's kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. Not that many cars are passing. Yep. That kind of neighborhood appeals to me. This location here, we're kind of priced out of it now because it ballooned so much. Right. There are other neighborhoods in North Nashville that are very similar, that are going through the same process, that are a little earlier on. Oh. And if we can get in there, you know, you can stake your claim, you know, set your roots down and grow with it. Named for the European immigrants who first settled there, Germantown was founded in 1841 and established itself in the 1850s as Nashville's first suburb. Large brick homes built next to modest workers' cottages 
created the architectural style of the area and provided a perfect model for mixed-use neighborhoods that are so popular today. Suffering through a recession in the 1970s, great efforts were made to revitalize the mostly condemned area. Growth of local businesses and restaurants and local events like Oktoberfest gave Germantown the boost it needed to become one of North Nashville's most desirable neighborhoods. Mm, yeah, it's good <laughs> strawberry. Really? <laughs> one of the most important things to look for when finding a new neighborhood is finding a place to get your hair cut. For a busy mom like Shay, being able to multitask is also very important. I found a spot where both Shay and Kingston can get a haircut right in Germantown. I wanted to come in today and get some, you know, sprucing up. I think Kingston wants a tiny little mohawk right on no. top. No? <laughs> Getting a haircut shouldn't be a luxury. It should be a necessity. And so we load up an old Ford pickup with a barber chair and go out to the streets and just cut anyone's hair that wanted a haircut. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Shay, we're going to go wash your hair. So excited to be here. I'm a single mom, so trying to get my hair done and do anything in a pre-COVID world, a little tough, right? Right. But then we add on COVID, you know. Literally no break. Yeah. Literally no mm -hmm. break. Okay. You can follow me. Oh <gasps> my God. You are yeah. looking so good. How you doing over there, Andrew? Can I tell you how much I appreciate you bringing me here today? because it has been a long time. When we are working from home and doing literally yeah. everything from home, you really do lose a sense of self. Like, what do I actually like anymore? And what yeah. do I need to do for me that feels good, especially as a mama, you know? Yeah. You just, that stuff gets pushed to the back burner. I want us to all be happy. I want us to all be safe and to hang out. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that I probably said no to more invitations than I should have. And now, anytime anyone calls me and says, hey, do you want to meet me? Yes. yes. I don't care where it's at. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's go. Voila. Fresh woman. Brand new. Yeah. Getting all these rough edges off. I love it. <laughs> it looks great. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. One of the challenges with moving into a popular neighborhood is keeping up with its rising prices. Even though Shay is priced out of Germantown, I'm taking her to check out a house one town over in Bordeaux, a historically African-American neighborhood that has a lot of what she's looking for. First impressions of this area, what are they? I mean, it feels like an older Nashville neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, what you like? I do like. OK, how much does Kingston seeing families and people living, loving, thriving that look like him matter to you? That is a top priority for me. Yeah. My mother worked really hard to move me to a very affluent neighborhood when I was young. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see anybody that looked like me. Right. I didn't move uh, to a different neighborhood with more African-American families till I was in my mid-teens. I hadn't seen beautiful black faces in person until then. Yeah. And my world was rocked. And I think right. it's so important for kids to grow up and see that and have it be a normal thing. That's what I want for Kingston. Yeah. To be in a neighborhood where there are people that look like him, yeah. that reflect who we are, mm -hmm. so that that becomes his norm yeah. and not the exception. Mm -hmm. I want our family structure to be the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, I want to show you a house in this neighborhood. So let's take a look at the Realtor.com app, peek at the listing. Okay. It's got four bedrooms, a backyard space, a basement. I'd love to take you in and take a look at it. Uh, I want to look. Oh my God. This feels open and not so boxed in and isolated like we've been. Yeah. After a year of being cramped in a tiny apartment. Mm -hmm. Kitchen is straight through here, completely redone. Wow. I like the starch white and the juxtaposition with the blue. Mm -hmm. Now what I don't see is a dedicated dining area and I know we talked about you wanting that. I'm just trying to keep an open mind. Okay, let's check out the bedrooms. All right. So here we have bedroom number one. Wow, I'm just surprised at how big it is already. I like this. Mm -hmm. And we have two more bedrooms upstairs. I feel like these rooms could accommodate Two boys, two yeah. girls. Possibilities are endless, because you have four bedrooms. That's still blowing my mind. And there's a bathroom right across the hall here. So this obviously has been redone. 
I really like what they've done with this. Be careful coming down the stairs. Okay. Come straight back this way and check out all this storage space. Oh my God! All the car seats, all the extra Christmas and birthday presents, all the extra clothing. Okay, I gotta tell you, the idea that my storage shelves and everything you just mm -hmm. mentioned goes in here, wow, I like it. So last bedroom is right here. A playroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could have a designated playroom that's mm -hmm. not in my living room. Oh, I see. This would be perfect for that, especially if they want to go outside and play. Come on out and look at all this backyard space. Wow. It's so big. Make no mistake, Kingston's gonna stake his claim on yeah, this. Yeah, I wish yard. he would, I wish he was here because I I want to race him. He might yeah. he might he might win. Yeah. Tell me how you're feeling about the entire house. We're hitting on so many things on my checklist. And not just for the house, right? Mm -hmm. The neighborhood that we walk through. You know what I see in this place? Space for you to do exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Get some foster kids in, open the space up, share that love, especially back here. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I kind of love it. Well, keep this in mind. I want you to remember all the things that you liked, things you didn't like, so when we see the next place, you can compare and contrast. Okay. And who knows? Yeah. Realtor.com is guaranteed the funnest way to search for a home for fun. Realtor.com is so fun. I play this game where I set my minimum price at $1 million. Check it out. Two infinity pools. Oh, infinity fun. And a peacock fun? What? Go to Realtor.com or download the app today. Thanks to Realtor Dead Camp's home size filter, we can ditch this troll hole and find a bigger place that doesn't smell like mud and rotting wood. I thought you liked my breath. Notification. <gasps> you should see this place. We love our new home. And it's perfect for having neighbors over for dinner. I'm obsessed with your staircase. Thank you, dinner. Realtor.com to each their home. Realtor.com sends you speedy home alerts for new homes that hit the market. So, no more fear of missing out. It's been six minutes since you last checked to see if any new homes came up on the market. Hey, hon, we got a live one, three bedroom with a walk-in closet and a playroom. Go to Realtor.com or download the app for speedy alerts. Today I'm taking Shay to another booming town in East Nashville. Although yesterday's home checked off a lot of Shay's boxes, Donaldson is made up of quiet neighborhoods with a great mix of green space and an active city center. And the easy freeway access makes for a quick commute to work. This entire time we've been experiencing small town vibes, small town feels, this feels extra small. How do you feel about that? I actually don't mind it. Okay. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've noticed like as we've walked by, we've mm -hmm. seen people on mm -hmm. their porch. Mm -hmm. huh? I love that. I want to engage with my neighbors yeah. and meet my neighbors. Mm -hmm. Knowing the maturity of this neighborhood, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if there are original owners. Oh, wow. That could actually tell me history about the neighborhood. Yeah. And that seems kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Named after John Donaldson, co-founder of Nashville and father-in-law of President Andrew Jackson, the town of Donaldson began its development shortly after World War II. An example of an early post-war suburb, the town's architecture is made up of mostly half-century old brick homes. Being located along the Cumberland River, 10 miles from downtown Nashville, and next to Nashville's airport led to much of its modern growth. I'm hoping that the healthy mix of a social community combined with the affordability and location of this town make Donaldson a great option for Shea and Kingston to live. I found a house that I think you're gonna like. So let's take a look at the listing using the Realtor.com app. Okay. Under your price range, right at around $295. Yeah. You got three bedrooms, which you love. Yeah. There's some bonus space in there. Maybe playroom, extra things like that. I think you'll like that. Okay. After you, please. Oh, wow. Isn't this nice? It is. I like this as a front room. I like it. It's so much light in mm -hmm. here. Original hardwood floors. Yes. All the bedrooms are back this way. So three bedrooms. You have one, two, with your bathroom right in between them. Oh, wow. Yeah? Yeah. So this would be your primary bedroom. I have to say, it feels a little on top of the other two bedrooms, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily a deal breaker. Yeah. If you need to be like, hey, pipe down, you're not that far. <laughs> you don't even have to get up. You can do it from right here. <laughs> so through our you know, living area here, you walk right into a very nice sized kitchen. Oh, I like this. Yeah. 
I can easily access everything. Mm -hmm. We can still have multiple bodies in here. Yeah. We're not on top of each other. Designated dining space that's not a playroom. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. There's no toys in there. And now I have a surprise for you. Check out this bonus space. Oh, wow. This is my playroom. This is your playroom, absolutely. I love it for that. I think this kind of like boosts the level of the house. Yeah, everywhere we've been in, there's so much light coming in. Mm -hmm. I love that. I don't yeah. feel boxed in and yeah. isolated like we've been over this year of COVID. Yes, I think the backyard is just as impressive. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this deck to this big yard. Plenty of room for Kingston to run around. Oh, for sure. Foster kids to play. For me, backyards always kind of button up a home and, and take it to the next level. I never had one growing up. Right. And I always wanted one. So when I see one, I'm like, man, how nice would it have been to have this? Yeah. yeah. And that has been something that I've felt a little guilt about not being able to provide for Kingston. Yeah. So let's do a quick pros and cons list. I love the location. I love this yard. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that I'd like the three bedrooms close together, mm -hmm. but the fact that there could be a playroom on the opposite side kind of appeals to mm -hmm. me. When considering new neighborhoods, there are a lot of things to think about. Finding the right coffee shop is one of those things. And for Shay, finding a place in the community to meet her neighbors is even more important. How long have you owned this coffee shop here? I guess four years ago, we were just like dreaming and we're like, well, what does Donaldson not have? Mm. A coffee shop. Yeah. So we're like, let's do this. So are you like every morning you're seeing that your same customers coming and oh, yeah. knowing oh. everyone's name? And we've been able to really journey with people yeah. in their life for the past couple of years since we've been open. So we've seen people get married. Babies born. Babies born. Yeah. But I really think it speaks to this community. They want to share life. And so we have this like mingling of cultures and identities that everybody is empowered to become something great together. My mom is Thai Chinese right down the center. My father's from Japan okay. and my mom is Guamanian. So we have this heritage. And Donaldson is incredibly diverse. Like, that's what got me to stay here. That's what drew me and it was like, yeah, this is cool. I like this. I know that but was yeah. number one on your list, making sure that Kingston was gonna grow up in a community that was rich with diversity. Absolutely. Right. Kingston and I are the current family unit. Okay. He is an African-American boy. I'm also certified foster parent. And so I wanna make sure my current son and any other child that comes into our family is a part of the community and not other. Nashville and Donaldson truly celebrate mm. diversity yeah. and embrace people sure. for who they are. Can I ask some hard questions though yeah. about that? How do we respond when sometimes we still do have racial tensions? Because to say that we don't at all would be a fallacy, right? I think Nashville historically has seen a lot of that. But what we also see is we're willing to sit down, we're willing to talk, we're willing to embrace each other for who we are, and that's what we teach our children. Yep. As a white mother of my African-American son, in eight years, he could potentially be behind the wheel of a car by That's himself. terrifying. <laughs> right, terrifying, right? Yeah. But then if we're being real, yeah. for me, it's a new level of terror because I don't just get to think about, oh, if he has a car accident. Unfortunately, in our very real world right now, both in Tennessee and nationally, young black and brown boys are targeted by people in authority and you know, he may be in a situation that I can't protect him from. That's really it. scary yeah. to think about. Like as a mom, like I feel the fear that you have, but not in the same way. Yeah. These are very, very hard conversations to have, but they have to be had. And, yeah. You know, and I think if you can have one of these conversations, you can have 100. If you have 100, you can have 10,000. Yeah. I think those are the things that ultimately will bring the change. And we're going to have more of these conversations. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. Looking at homes for fun? Realtor.com has the tools to make your search easy. Babe, look, a waterfall slash pool slash hot tub. Realtor.com is also great if you're searching for real. Babe, a two-bedroom near Mr. Pancake's favorite dog park. Let's schedule a tour. Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and search for fun or for real. I hate my tiny basement, but with Realtor.com's drawn map feature, I can finally spread my wings and escape Transylvania. 
a friend told me of a cool place called Pennsylvania. Look at the size of that basement. I love my new home. Careful, boys, that's real mahogany. Realtor.com, to each their home. Hey, person. Realtor.com offers super personalized ways to home search for your personal palace and or pad. Perfect. Does Realtor.com let Penelope personalize? Maybe someday, but right now it's mostly for people. Penelope is people. Okay. Go to Realtor.com or download the app today. Shay, I'm very sad. Our week has come to an end, and I hope it was helpful to you. For sure. Going to the different communities, mm -hmm. I really don't think approach them prior to you coming mm -hmm. the way that I will now. In North Nashville, I feel like that one kind of jumped out and was, it really kind of hit a, hit a good nerve with you. It did. When you compare and contrast that house to the house that was a bit east of Nashville, how do those neighborhoods compare to you? You know, one of my big priorities that we keep coming back to and talking about mm -hmm. is wanting to have a neighborhood that reflects who I am and yeah. who Kingston is. Yeah. I want African Americans in our neighborhood. Yeah. I want families of different socioeconomics in our neighborhood. Yeah. And that is my guide. Okay, so before I get out of here, I have one more tool that I wanna show you from realtor.com. This is gonna help you kinda of streamline the home search process. Okay. And it's just gonna be the ability to schedule a tour. The real estate market is going crazy. Insane. And so sometimes, you know, a house will pop up on a Tuesday. If you can't see it till Saturday, sometimes it's gone. Oh, right? for sure. So with this, you just click on a listing and right here, have the option to schedule a tour. You might want to do a video tour or an in-person tour, and then you just request right there, and somebody will reach out to you, and you guys can set a time and a date, and you'll have your place locked in. Okay, I like that. I have to tell you, I don't want to leave. You know, I always come into a city, and I'm not quite sure how the connection's going to be, and I wasn't sure how this one was going to go because the subject matter is so near to my heart. I didn't know if you could really grasp how real the fear is for people of color, for black men and women who have to leave their house every day, right. drive to work, you know, walk down the street, you know. I didn't know how those conversations were gonna go talking about Kingston, because I was like, how could she possibly understand your level of not only understanding, but your level of empathy and care and love and the determination that you show to make sure that that little boy is safe. Mm. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's a heavy topic. It's one that I take seriously. Yeah. I'm still a work in progress. Yeah. I always will be. Yeah. But I am listening. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm trying, I'm engaging. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's gonna be for the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah. For him and for all the children who come along mm -hmm. after him. Yeah. Mine, yeah. yours, everybody's. Yeah. I see the same love in your eyes that I see in, in my mom's eyes. Thank you. And that means a lot. Thank you. Okay, I need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cheers to a good week. Please keep me updated um, on all the things that are happening. I want to see pictures of Kingston and the, and the foster kids and, and all that good stuff. Absolutely. Okay. Cheers. cheers. Shay has a lot of concerns with raising her son, who's African American, and also raising any new foster children she may bring into her home. I hope I've been able to reassure Shay that as long as she keeps asking the right questions, she'll find the right community to make her family feel safe and happy no matter where she ends up. Hey, Shay. Hi. Hi, Kingston. Hi. What are you standing in front of right now? Oh, you oh. know where we are. The new house. It's your new house? You guys bought that one? Yeah, we uh -huh. did. I knew you loved it as soon as you walked in. You know, I think it really checked off a lot of the things that I needed in a physical house, but I think it was also the community at large. It felt like a place that had a lot of children and somewhere that I wanted King to build relationships. Tell me, Kingston, are you so, so proud of your mommy? Oh, I'm so proud. You can go out, be a single mother, buy a home on your own, compete in this real estate market and come out on top with the house that you want. I mean, yeah. you, you've gone above and beyond. Thank you so much for your help. This was an amazing experience. But I've never seen you run full speed, Kingston. We, oh, look at that. Oh, look at you go, man. 
I think you might be faster than me. And when I come back next time, we'll have a race. Cool. All right, bye. Bye, bye Kingston.